approach the patient's residence, I don the appropriate PPE. Next, I assess scene safety. I heard a dog barking, and I thought, that dog needs to be secured. EMS! <coughs> Uh, it's EMS. I heard a dog. Is he put oh. away? Yeah, I put him away. Oh. The dog is secured, and I don't see or hear anything suspicious. So my scene appears to be safe. My patient is clutching his abdomen. I can't be sure if this is a nature of illness or mechanism of injury right now. I seem to have one patient. They are sitting upright, and there are no visible signs of trauma, so I won't initiate C-spine stabilization. I don't anticipate the need for any additional resources at this time. As I get closer, I see that my patient is a male who appears to be in his 30s. He is showing obvious signs of pain. His knees are pulled up towards his chest. He is guarding his abdomen and grimacing. The first thing that I'm going to do is obtain his chief complaint. My name is Kate with Virtual EMS. Can you tell me what made you call 911 today? My stomach hurts so bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me your name? Jed. His skin is pale and he looks a bit sweaty too. He is looking at me as I walk in, so I know that he is alert on the AVPU scale. Um, are you having any difficulty breathing? No. Do you mind if I check your pulse really quick? If you have to. My patient is talking to me, so I know that he has a patent airway. He denies any difficulty breathing, and his respiratory rate appears to be within normal range. Presently, I don't see a need to ventilate or provide supplementary oxygen. His radial pulse is present, rapid, and strong. His skin is pale, hot, and moist. And when I visually scan my patient, I don't see any signs of bleeding. Considering all of this, I determine that the patient is potentially unstable, but can be assessed on scene. Jed, I have to ask you a few questions while my partner takes some vital signs. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. I'm going to start with my sample history. The S stands for signs and symptoms. My patient has told me that he's experiencing abdominal pain, so that is a symptom. The signs I have observed so far include pallor, tachycardia, guarding, and skin that is hot to the touch. Okay, Jed, I have to ask you a few more questions while my partner takes a set of vital signs. Is that okay? Uh, I guess. Are you allergic to anything? Foods, medications? No. Uh, do you take any medications? That's over-the-counter stuff, too? No. No? no. no. Okay. Uh, any medical history, any issues like this before? No, nothing to know of. All right, what was the last thing you ate and then uh, about how long ago was it? I had breakfast uh, this morning. And what were you doing when the pain started? I was resting. Resting, yeah. Have you not been feeling well for the last couple of days? It's been, it's been at least two days. Okay. At this point, my partner should be finished obtaining my patient's baseline vitals. Now I'm going to transition to my OPQRST questions to find out more about his symptoms. What were you doing when this pain started? Uh, nothing, it started about two days ago. About two days ago? Does anything make the pain better or worse? No, nothing. Can you describe it for me? What does it feel like? It's, it's sharp uh, it, and it's been getting worse. Does it move anywhere else in your body? It, or stay in the same spot? It's, it's no, no, it's, it stays where it's at. Okay. On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no pain, 10 being the worst pain you can imagine, where are you at? Uh, it's bad. A 9, maybe a 10. Okay. And does it come and go, or does it stay constant? It's, it's been getting worse for the past two days. Have you been vomiting or anything like that? I've been nauseous. My appetite has been bad, but no, no, nothing else. Okay. Have you fallen or injured yourself in any way that might explain this pain? No. The last thing that I need to do before we go is a physical assessment. Since my patient's symptoms are confined to the abdomen, I'm going to perform a focused assessment of that area. Oh. It appears as though my patient may be suffering from appendicitis and requires further evaluation at the hospital. On our way to the hospital, I'm going to recheck Jed's ABCs and reevaluate his chief complaint. I'll take note of any changes in his condition, including his pain and orientation levels. I'll reassess his vital signs every 15 minutes and transport him in a position of comfort to the closest hospital with OR capabilities.